Shalom, shalom, giving all praises, glories, and all honors unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah Mashiach, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this truth in the true name and the true doctrine, all right, throughout the four corners of the earth, bringing out the gospel, the defender of the gospel. This is Kodash Paya, and in this lesson, I want to get into how our people, the Israelites, that has been scattered abroad, you saw called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Israelites, has taken up the customs of the Grecians. And we see that, you know, in the Apocrypha, it tells you about how we, the, the, all these, you know, the Olympics, how we've been Hellenized by uh, Antiochus Epiphany, and we took the custom, we took their customs. That's why you have an ESPN sports center, you know, with um, the whole, you know, showing your body naked, right? Which which is off because according to the law, you're not supposed to look at look upon another man's nakedness. And you got women that do that as well. And that's where you get all these coliseums, which are the modern day NFL, um, NBA, you know, MLB, and so on and so forth. And um, during the, you know, during these times, you know, our our people had no problem with you know, taking these customs up. But anyway, let's get into the scriptures real fast. And um, there's also articles on this as well. But this is Second Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 7. And we're going to read on down to verse 18. It says, But after the, the death of Seleucus, right, which was one of Alexander's generals, which is the Seleucus Empire over here. So this was after his death. Like it said, so it says, but after the death of Seleucus, when Antiochus, Antiochus called Epiphanes, took the kingdom, Jason, the brother of Onias, labored underhand to be high priest, promising unto the king by intercession 303 score talent of silver and of another revenue, eighth talents. Besides this, he promised to assign 140 more if he might have license to set up set him up a place for exercise, which is where you get these gyms and people wearing these tights and all that, you know. This, this, none of this was ever our custom to begin with. It says, and for the training up of youth in the fashion of the heathen and to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. So the, the Jerusalem, meaning our people, uh, referring to the nation of Israel, we started calling ourselves after uh, um, the uh, the king that ruled Antiochus, they started calling themselves Antiochians, just like how people call themselves, you know, Greeks. Uh, um, after you know, have Greek names and right. Anyway, it says, which when the king had granted and he had gotten into his hand the rule, the rule for with brought his own nation to Greekish fashion and Greekish Greekish. You know, it's a suffix meaning to pertain to that type of custom. You know, and this money was supposed to go to the poor, but yet they built coliseums. Verse 11, it says, And the royal privileges granted a special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus, who went ambassador to Rome for enmity and aid. He took away and putting down the governments, which were according to the law, he brought up new customs against the law. You know, and that's where you get these uh, uh, in Rome, Salakia, where you had many of, of, you know, our people being, you know, drafted to, to you know, and, and being rich, being rich to play in these coliseums, just like how you had Zeke, you know, in the uh, NFL, how he's getting paid so much money, but money, but yet the poor was getting, becoming more poor. That's how of um, Rome started to collapse internally, financially. You know, there's an article here you want you can get into. It. It's called the Bread and Circuses. You know, you brothers know what that is. It says, Bread and Circus could strike down America like it did Rome. And these were created to distract the people. So that way, what, they won't rouse up against, you know, against the senators, against the, uh, the publicans and the governments. You know, so the people can be distracted and entertained. Bread and circus, man. 
So we got to understand why and where these originated from. Certain custom pagan pagan exercises, you know, ancient Greek used to go to the gym naked as a tribute to the gods. The word gymnasium means school for naked exercise. The word gymnasium meaning school for naked exercise is 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 wild, man. And the scriptures is so on point. You cannot. There's there's no way you can uh, uh you know debunk this. This is why they took the apocrypha out. But anyway, it says. Verse 12, for he built gladly a place of exercise under the tower itself and brought the chief young men under his subjection and made them wear hat, a hat. So basically they, they made them wear certain customs, certain clothing, certain, you know, uh, uh, fashion, all right? Verse 13, now such was the height of Greek fashions and increased of heathenism, Salakia, of heathenish manners, <laughs> thought the exceeding Profane, profane, profaning, prof, Salakia, hold on. Profanities of Jason, that ungodly wretch, and no high priest, that the priest had no courage to serve any more at the altar, but despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, hasting to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game of discus called them forth. Now, this is the this is what they mean by the games, the game of discus. I had the image up, but I just want to Google it just so you can know. All right, the game of discus. I think I spelled it wrong. Here we go. Game of discus. You know, when they throw in the discs and everything. Alright? And as you can see, these were the customs of the heathen. These were the sports of the heathen. Right? This is a, a, a statue. One of the Greek statues of them, you know, performing those, those games. Those Olympian games. But anyway, it says... Verse 15, not setting by the honors of their father, but likening, liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. By reason whereof sore calamity came upon them, for they had them to be their enemies and avengers, whose custom they followed so earnestly, and unto whom they desired to be like in, to be like in all things. Right, so our people take up the customs of the heathen in all things, you know. And, and they don't have a problem doing it. You know, there's sellouts and all these all these people that, that are doing so in this time around. You know, the ESPN, right? You, know, you got this image over here on the top left. I don't, I don't really want to see any of this. But it's all for edification's sake, man. You know, they, they, they don't mind taking these things up. And as a matter of fact, it says right here, I'm going to read it. This is uh, Miles Garrett, an NFL player. Said, he said... I want to look like a Grecian god. I'm always striving for more. I want to be at my best physical appearance just to know that I'm kind of using all the God-giving abilities that I've been given. So <laughs> there you go. They don't mind. They want to look like this. They want to take these. They are. They want to partake in these things, man. They, they don't, you know, they don't. That's why, you know, when the scriptures speak about going unto the Gentiles, and we're going to get into that, but it says, verse 17, For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of God, but the time following shall declare these things. Now when the game that was used every faith, ye faith year was kept at Tyrus, the king being present. And you know, every four years they come up with the Olympics, you know, so it became a, a, a custom uh, basically, a day that, that they celebrate. So now let's get some precepts on who the Greeks were according to the scriptures and, and you know, um, why did the prophets go unto the Gentiles? And why did our people call themselves Greeks at that time? Now we're going to get the first book, St. John chapter 19 verse 19. It says, throughout 20, it says, And Pilate wrote a title and put it 
on the cross, and the writing was, you know, I'm going to read it in probatum, right, just for understanding. Jesus of Nazareth, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, it says, the king of, of the Jews, it says, this title then read many of the Jews for the place where, you know, yeah, Jesus, but his real name is Yahweh Shai, obviously it says, was crucified, was night to the city, and it was written, here's the point, it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Why was so? Because what? They were speaking in these tongues. You know, in, in the book of Acts, it says, in another tongue, I shall, I shall teach these people, meaning in another language, just like how I'm speaking in another tongue right now, a Roman alphabetical tongue. But anyway, let's get a... Uh, let's get... um. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 12, it says, For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto, unto all that call upon him. And we know that in order to call upon the Lord, you got to know his name. And does not the scripture say the name is dreadful amongst the heathen? Come on, man. So therefore, the Greeks had to be those gen uh, he um, Israelite foreigners. That didn't, that didn't know they were Israelites. That's why the scriptures tell you to go and preach unto all, all the nations. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shammashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Right? So, we were considered strangers, proving that that's Israel, that, um, does not the scripture say we were strangers in the land of Egypt? All right, so. Matter of fact, let's get Acts. Check not. Listen, listen to this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1. And I'm, I'm going to skip through a little bit on this one. Pay attention to this one. All right. Now, this is the book of Acts, chapter chapter 1. I mean, verse 14. I'm Slakia. Slakia. The book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 1, it says, And it came to pass in Iconian that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews and, and so spake that a great multitude, both of the Jews and also of the Greeks, believed. Now, we know that the heathens can't believe. It's just not in their spirit. It's scriptural. Says, but the unbelieving Jews stood up the Gentiles and made their minds evil, affected against the brethren. So these were the unbelieving Jews, right? Because remember, Paul spoke about, you know, them that have a zeal but not according to knowledge. Now let's jump down to verse. Verse 8, it says, verse 7, And there they preached the gospel, and there sat a certain man at Lystria, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said, Salakia, verse 10, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet, and he leaped and walked. So, Paul made this miracle. Now, verse 11 says, And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lit... Slakia. It says, And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lyconia. And I looked up, you know, different, different type of uh, uh, Greek tongues, different type of uh, Greek dialect. You have Cappadocian, Mycenaean, um, Pontic, Siconian, yeah, 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 I gotta remember. Yevonic, then you have the modern tongue, a uh, Greek tongue, and then you have Lysonian. Now they believe that the Lysonian tongue were uh, 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 a Grecian dialect, right? This is why it says, this is why it says, and when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying, in the speech of Laconia, the gods are come down to us in. 
in the likeness of men. So, you know, you have uh, seen like the shows and movies of Rome and Greece, how they say the gods, Zeus, uh, uh, Prometheus, you know, and so forth, right? Hercules, understand where that came from, right? It says, so they, it says, and they called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercurius, well, now in modern time, uh, Mercury, Mercurius, because he was the chief speaker. So they're like, so they basically saw the miracles that, that the prophets were doing. They're like, yo, these are, these got to be the gods that came down. You know, he got to be Hercules or he got to be Prometheus or he got to be Mercury. He got to be Jupiter. So check it out. It says, then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates and would have done sacrifice with the people. Which... Which when the apostle Barnabas and Paul heard heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people crying out and saying, Sirs, why do ye do ye these things? We are also we also are men of like passions with you. So they're telling them, Look, we're just we're men just like you, man. It says and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities. Unto the living God. So basically they would like turn from these vain myth mythological things you believe in. And come to the true God. The only God. Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shah, man. Says which made heaven and earth and the sea. And all these things that are therein. You know. So then they started telling them the glory of how God. The most high. You know through his son created. You know using the angels. If you understand the book of Genesis. Had created all the plants. The animals. The rain. So on and so forth. You know what I mean? So after that, they stoned him, but Paul never, you know, he rose back up. Let's get the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. It says, Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So these are these were basically the dumb idols that they spoke and called, you know, worshipped. And they called, uh, uh, they started to call the prophets after them. You know, you can look up... Uh, um, Salakia, you can look up where they, um, something called, right here, the sacrifice to Hercules, All right, this was when they, uh, mentioned in the, uh, in the Apocrypha, I believe this was, I didn't get to this part, but this was, uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 19. I'm going to read it. I don't have to get to it because I got the pages right in front of me. It says, This ungracious Jason sent special messengers from Jerusalem who were Ante Antiochians, because they were calling themselves after the king, to carry 300 drams of silver to the sacrifice of Hercules, which even the bearers thereof thought fit not to bestow upon the sacrifice because it was not convenient, but to be reserved for other charges. Verse 20. This money then in regard of the sender was appointed to Hercules' sacrifice, but because of the bearer thereof, it was employed to the making of of galleys. So this is why in, they, they wanted to sacrifice, um, you know, Paul and Barnabas because of the traditions of the heathen. All right? Um, so with that... You know, I hope this video was edifying to those that got an ear to hear and eyes to see. Um, you know, so I hope I clarified, you know, who the Gentiles are, which are, 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 are Israelites, you know, taking a hel uh, become Hellenized, Greek-speaking Jews, all right? And um, let me see if I got all the scriptures. I mean, that's pretty much to the point. So with that, until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.